What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the brand new rule breaker card, Alex Terexa, I believe is how you pronounce it. There's a lot of ways of pronouncing that last name. So we're going to keep it very simple and we're going to call him Alex today. Now I did pick him up for 300k. The reason I picked him up for 300k is because he is extinct. This card is extinct. So many people want this card and we're here to find out why. He has got 87 pace, 85 dribbling, 86 shooting, 77 passing with this 76 physical as well now he is five foot nine so that's a really decent height for a striker this year high low work rates pretty much means he's always going to be up there making those runs in behind no matter what four star four star is something you'd love to see especially this year as i said previously yeah you could deal with a three star weak foot but come on now four star it's where it's about and the lack of keta with the four star skill moves is obviously my favorite skill move now he is on a hundred chem style he is on 10 chem 98 acceleration 96 sprint speed pace is outrageous now when it comes down to shooting he looks like a beautiful finisher 96 attacking positioning 97 finishing with the 89 shot power as well he's got 86 long shots 99 volleys and 94 penalties does he have any shooting traits he does not which is disappointing but it is what it is he's got 83 vision 83 short passing 76 long passing with this 77 curve so when it comes down to passing I'm going to expect him to do the simple passes very well. But when it comes down to the overtop through balls down the line, I'm going to try out if he can actually do it because his vision and long passing is actually pretty decent. Now, when it comes down to dribbling, this guy has got 95 agility, 80 balance, 82 reactions, 85 ball control, 84 dribbling and 86 composure. I feel like Alex is going to be that player. Is pretty much going to collect the ball on the edge of the box. I'm just going to do a few twists and turns, a few skill moves then and there, and then all of a sudden, I'm just going to bang the ball into the back of the net. Now, when it comes down to physicals, stamina, jumping is pretty decent, but strength and even aggression is terrible. Look at that aggression 55. Like, we're going to go nowhere near when it comes down to him being aggressive, but strength is. It's not the end of the world. It's not, you know, it's not one of those 60s or like 50s. At least it's a 76. Now, today I have linked him up with Taliska and Paulinho. I've also got like Sir Allen, Dembele and Bella Rabi, which I actually just did a review on. So if you guys missed it, link will be in the description. But today I will be playing Alex in a 4-4-2 in that striker position. But I do want to try him down the line as well because he's pace, he's dribbling, seems like he would work down that line. So I will try him in a 4 2 3 1 as well. But let's get into the games. Dembele, little ball roll. Gonna give it to Alex here. Yes, he use that pace to get around that corner. Gonna go for a ball roll. Heel to heel, fake shot. Trying to get an angle to go for that finish shot. It was a tight angle. And I'm gonna be honest, I felt like that should have got AI blocked or just like manually blocked by the actual player. But hey, he actually got the shot off, but it was a good save. Gonna try and pass all the way down. That's beautiful. That is a beautiful pass. And I feel like that is because of his vision. The fact that he can actually do those passes. Ball roll in. Fake shot. Oh, okay. Let's not talk about that. Alan. To Alex. Oh, no. Don't do him like that. Don't do him like that. Oh, come on. I gave him the little, little twist and turn. And just a little flick to obviously send him pretty much the wrong way. And what a finish. That finesse shot into that near post. Alex, make that run going up. There you go. You saw it. Good touch. Can I get that fake shot? Yes, I can. Look at the pace. Look at the pace. Full roll. Okay. No, 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 no. There's no way he's tackled from the back and he actually managed to get that ball. I'm annoyed because Alex has done so well with his pace. Get that running behind. There you go. I'm going to go for a ball roll. Push it forward. Fake shot. Push it forward again. Lack of Keta. The guy's not even controlling. Do you see the AI defending? And that is what you deserve. If you AI defend in this game like that, it's absolutely disgusting. And Alex actually does well to get the ball back there and does like a really good pass. Just going to go for an overtop through ball. Alex. Oh, look at that acceleration. Look at that acceleration. Bye-bye. Where are you going? Going to go for that finesse shot at a tight angle. And he's going to put it into the back of the net. Right now, Alex is reminding me a lot of like a Mertens in a way. A Mertens from last year where he's very agile on the ball. He's really, really good at finishing. And he has that pace to his game as well. 
Going to try to go for that one too. Hopefully, I can thread a through ball. Yes, I can. Hopefully, this is actually onside because I'm not sure. I'm going to go for that cross goal finish. And once again, he scores a goal. This guy is literally on fire at this moment. Go on. He somehow always gets away with the ball. I don't get it. Like, how many bounces this guy gets is an absolute joke. And he reminds me of how many bounces, like, Neymar got last year. Look at this. Oh, if he managed to score that, I would have walked out of this room. I would have had enough already. What a pass. Oh, my God. I didn't even mean that. But, hey, I will take it at the end of the day. Come on. Let's go. Going to go for a ball roll. He's not going to come towards me. He's going to go for the block. I should have gone near post. I'm an idiot. Why did I go near post? I literally saw him standing far post and I still went there. Alex, first time fake shot. I'm going to... Oh, do you see what I mean? Literally, do you see what I mean? This guy gets away with so many bounces. It is absolutely ridiculous. And that's why he reminds me of Neymar last year. Neymar last year, the amount of like bounces he got away with was ridiculous. And that is what Alex is get getting away with right now. Alex, keep going, Alex. He just walked out of the way. And if you're going to give Alex that kind of opportunity, you're going to get punished no matter what. So it is time to review him. Two games played, five goals with the one assist as well. This guy was simply on fire. And I'm scared. I'm honestly scared because I know I'm winning 2-1, 75th minute. This guy gets subbed on and he's probably going to score some very, very jammy goal against me. Now, Alex actually reminds me of two players. He reminds me of a Mertens when he's dribbling and he reminds me of a Ben Yedda when he's shooting. The reason I say Ben Yedda when shooting is because he has like a really fast build up and a really fast release. So it doesn't allow any AIs or even players just to get in front of the, in front of the ball and go for a block. And that is something I've noticed this year. A lot of players have a slow build up and then they have a slow release as well well alex he's got like a really fast build up now 300k is that worth it for this player i'm gonna be honest he is 100 if not more this guy is ridiculously good and it's just a disappointment that he plays in the chinese league because if he didn't play in the chinese league the links that you could get like in like a, I don't know, like a league earn or like a, a Premier League would be absolutely ridiculous. Now, obviously, Chinese league for links is not bad. Teleska, you got the inform Paulinho as well. And if you really want to, you can put all three and it's going to be really good. Now, him being five foot nine, I did not see a problem with that at all. The high low work rates was interesting to see because... He did stay on his last man. He did make those runs in behind consistently as well. But he came short when he needed to come short. And that's what impressed me the most. The four-star skill moves, the Lacroqueta, the Berber with this guy is unbelievable. And the thing is, once you're doing those skill moves, if it doesn't come off like you saw multiple times, he will get a bounce. And that's why I'm scared of him because I know he's going to get a bounce against me in foot champs. I know I'm going to concede and I'm probably going to rage as well. Now, the four star weak foot was really nice when shooting with it. But I noticed the finesse shots with that weaker foot was actually better than the power shot. So make sure if you do cut it onto the left foot, just finesse shot with it. It will go in. So for pace, I am going to give him a 9.3 out of 10. Trust me, this guy is insanely fast. But I've seen faster. I've seen Adama, Mbappe. Ronaldo, Neymar, I've seen those four players run. And trust me, Alex is not as fast as those players, but he's still, he is still extremely fast. For shooting, I am going to give him a 9.3 out of 10 for shooting. Unbelievable. You give him that wide open opportunity, trust me, he is going to score it, especially on his stronger foot. For passing, I did say I was going to test out his overtop through balls, and I did. I also tried to test out those ground passes, that uh, like that curved ground passes. And I tell you what, it was really impressive the way his vision obviously comes into play with that long passing to get that ball to where I want it to get to. And his passing was not bad, especially with both feet. It was impressive. So for passing, I am going to give him, I would say, a comfortable 8.2 out of 10 for dribbling. Obviously, I compare him to Mertens when it comes down to dribbling. And I'm not comparing him to Mertens from this year. I'm comparing him to a Mertens from like last year. And it's not just a casual gold card. Now, I'm talking about team of the season. That's how good the dribbling was. So, 
for dribbling, I'm going to give him a 9.3 out of 10. The reason I'm going to give him a 9.3 and not like any higher is because I put five star skill moves into dribbling overall. The reason I do that is because there's a lot of ways to, you know, use the flip flaps, the running scoop turns, the McGeady's to create angles to then use his dribbling to his full effect. And if he hasn't got that five star skill moves, I can't really go any higher than like a 9.5. But for physicals, the strength was impressive, by the way, like he's a player that was actually fighting for the ball, but I did not see aggression. And that is the one thing I was disappointed about. Obviously, the 55 aggression, you kind of expected him not to be aggressive. But I really did want him to be, and he wasn't. The stamina, jumping, was pretty nice. But physicals, I would honestly say like a, a solid like 7.4, 7.5 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, this guy's up there. This guy is definitely, definitely up there. And I am going to give him a 9.1 out of 10. So if you manage to get your hands on this card for 300k, trust me, you will not be disappointed. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.